Hello. So yesterday, I'm going to talk about Christian patriotism again a little bit. Yesterday, I finished watching a six-episode uh, documentary from a based on a podcast, I guess, uh, about the Iran Contra affair from the 1980s, the Reagan administration. <clears throat> I will talk about that later. Uh, after watching the Contra thing, I just, it, there are some things I, I, I'll say. Because I kind of grew up in that era, but I wasn't really paying attention to the news then. Well, if some of you, the, you know, the five people who watched my videos, uh, remember that is that uh, one of the key figures in that whole thing was uh, Oliver North. And... Now, it was Oliver North. Okay, so the series starts off talking about the Carter administration, which is something I really need to look into. Uh, I don't think he, he was as bad as, you know, we were all taught that he was uh, after his presidency was over. Um, my personal opinion, after watching some stuff on him, is that he was up to the task of being the president, you know, filling the office. But what he wasn't up to the task was he had all the people from the trilateral uh, coalition commission. I can't right. I can never remember what it is. But the trilateral commission, the one that was started by David Rockefeller and um, Brzezinski and I think Kissinger. Um, I think a majority of his staff were all plants. If they weren't part of the Trilateral Commission, they were plants set in there by the Trilateral Commission to make sure that their agenda was followed in the Carter administration. So I think he was more a victim of that than his inability to be president. I mean, he can't be stupid and run a, you know, a massive peanut farm. It's just not the... It doesn't work. Um... So, it starts at that time with Jerry Falwell, Sr., uh, from Virginia. Now, he was a pastor of a large church. He's the one that founded Liberty University in uh, Virginia. <clears throat> and it all started with him. I mean, I think the big movement of the Christian Coalition started with him. Or the religious right, or whatever you want to call it. And the, the Christian, the idea of Christian nationalism probably started with him. And excuse me, it was. It, it's again. Let me go back to something I said. This is not a necessarily a Christian nation. It was a Christian nation that was founded on. I mean, it was a nation founded on Christian, um, I guess, code of law, for lack of a better term. Uh, but you got you got to remember that there are lots of other empires and countries and whatnot who also uh, use, you know, basically a code of law that is based on the, uh, you know, biblical, the Bible, um, or could be found in the Bible. I mean, in, in most cultures, it's it's illegal to steal. It's illegal to kill somebody. You know, it's against the, the law or the rules of a tribe or whatever to do anything against anybody else in the tribe. And so, which is why I, just because we are, you know, it, the, the principles and the laws of this country are based off the Mosaic law doesn't make it a Christian nation and as I said before the, the, the people who wrote the founding fathers of this country the people who wrote all those documents were not Christians um, I would say a handful but a majority of them were not and so, to get back to Jerry Falwell. So, 
Jerry Fowler has a big hand in uh, helping uh, Ronald, Ronald Reagan get elected to got you know to get the votes from the uh, Christian right, and so so he was in uh, episode two. They featured him in episode two. So to fast forward to the very end of the last episode, and they show. Uh, Jerry Falwell at the commencement, you know, graduation. Uh, I don't know when it was. I'm going to say it was around 1990, somewhere around there. And he has Oliver North speaking at the commencement. And, and what does he say? Some people complain that I have a, a man speaking today who has been indicted. We all forget that the Savior we serve was also indicted. And then he stepped, stepped aside. There are so many things wrong with that statement. Okay? Oliver North was indicted for selling arms really to really a uh, an enemy of the country, Iran, for selling uh, missiles and whatever else he sold to Iran, and then using that money to fund the Contra, the Contras who used to be part of the Samosa uh, regime, who got ousted by the Sandinistas in Nicaragua. So he used the proceeds from the sales of those missiles to fund to send to the Contras. The problem was is that the whole point of them selling uh, no, I don't want to get into that. I'll talk about that later. So to get back to the Falwell Sr.'s comparison to uh, of Jesus Christ and Oliver North. Okay, so Jesus Christ was convicted in a kangaroo court. <laughs> and he was convicted by a weak Roman ruler, Pilate. And so, he yes, he was convicted or indicted or whatever you want to say, but he wasn't guilty. He was never guilty. If you want to say he was indicted, it, it, he wasn't guilty. He was sinless. Oliver North broke the law <laughs> he did break the law it doesn't matter if he was doing it for the country or patriotic or whatever he broke the law so he should have been indicted and he should have been put in jail he is not Jesus just because he was indicted and he did things for what he thought Oliver North thought and Jerry Falwell Sr was patriotic to this country doesn't mean anything. It doesn't amount to anything. It doesn't, it's a pointless argument. This is the problem with Christian National, with people who are back then, you know, who loved Ronald Reagan and George Bush, who was crooked as they come, you know, they weren't Christians. They weren't. And you can't equate a patriotic act, actions, by an individual as equal to being uh, something that is done in the name of God. This is the problem with Christian nationalism, is that they take the country... Because they believe the country is like uh, has the same status as Israel did in the Old Testament of the Bible, that God basically had put it, had His hand on the founding of this country, which is not true. I mean, yes, not, nothing happens without Him, you know, parting and being His sovereign will. Uh, but that doesn't mean that there's some special blessing on this country. And not like there is with Israel. So, and 
the Christian nationalists, they want to take these people and they want to make them, lack of a better term, they want to deify them. They want to make them equal to apostles or equal to uh, somebody who has died for God and they haven't. They're just people who love this country. It doesn't make them anything special. Being a patriot doesn't make you special in the eyes of God. Uh, and the same thing that happened with, you know, that was done with Oliver North. It's the same thing that's that's going on with Trump. You know, like I said in the last, in one of the last videos I did, you know, comparing Trump's arrest to Christ being arrested during the the Passion Week. Just stop already. There was only one Jesus Christ. Only one. There is nobody who compares to him, no matter what, if the circumstances seem similar. Nobody should be compared to Jesus in any way. Except to say, if a man, like Paul says, imitate Paul or imitate Christ. And that does not mean imitate Christ being a patriot for this country. That doesn't make you a special Christian. Uh, there are so many things else I want to talk about uh, politically. I try to separate what I meant, my Christian faith with my political views because when I speak about this country, I speak as a citizen of, of as a citizen of this country, not necessarily as a Christian living in this country. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I know I don't care if you guys. Yeah. For the for the five people who might watch this, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if it was informed, my opinion really doesn't matter. I just like an outlet. That's it. All right. So I'll try to post another video tomorrow on my way home from work again. Have a good day.